Greetings everyone, this is First Antonio 753 with the next episode of Prince PM, Master of Sciences, playing as Isaac Newton. It is September of 1668. Mr. Newton is 26 years old and he's already published one paper on uh, the discovery of light refracting as it passes through a medium, which I believe is true. Um, it's published, but it's been challenged and criticized by two authorities, not two authorities, two other uh, philosophers. And now we came across this other discovery. The speed of light is infinite. That is not true. And I do not want to go continue along that line. Because uh, that will definitely get shot down eventually. So I'm thinking I'm going to want to continue along the line of experimentation. But I'm not sure how much more experimenting I can do. Let's go ahead and reason a little bit here. And that's the same reasoning we've come up with in the past. But it looks like our reasoning is uh, plus four. Maybe it's time to read a book and increase our knowledge. He needs further reasoning. Let's read a book first, and then we'll reason about that book. Oh, I could also practice. Let's read a book first. Then we'll conduct some practicing. And then... Shadows present present a clear figure proof positive that light is a particle after all if it were a wave it would reach around the back of obstructions okay so that is the knowledge of optics increasing Robert Boyle is lethargic now he's resting Move to Hanover. Picard has become a lecturer at Cambridge. Huh. Where's Picard? Let's borrow. Oh. Mr. Picard. The other thing is I could correspond with some of these guys. He doesn't seem to have good kids categories seem to be strongest in astronomy. Motion of the moon. Ooh, that's an area I wanted. He wrote a paper on it. Moon does not rotate along its axis. In fact, the fact should play a key role. It doesn't rotate along its axis? I think that's not true. Looks like he has three discoveries here. The Earth is a satellite of the moon? That's not true. He's going down the wrong field there. He's going down the wrong path with his discoveries. Maybe I won't, co well, I'll correspond with him. Let's see what happens. Mr. Picard appears to be absent. So no correspondence with him. All right, we have to make sure uh, The French Academy of Science accepts another scholar, another fellow. Did I read the book? I did read the book. Time for practice in optics. Let's see where that takes us. Skill in optics has increased. Good. Now it's back to the laboratory for experimentation, I believe. I think there's definitely a way to play like politics in this game, by the way, by looking into like, um, like who's on what boards and everything. But I haven't gone there yet. It's also observatories, and I'm not sure. I guess for certain experiments, if you're going to be doing astronomy, you should be in a town that has an observatory. Cambridge has a university, and where there's lecturers here, so I guess that's good for now. Lecturers do give us 
a lot of uh, information, but they do cost money. I'm going to go back into the laboratory, try to conduct another experiment. And our experiment has increased to six. Skill and optics is up to more. Practicing improved greater than the skill, but these experiments do provide theories. Here we go. Uh, did this striped pattern not form because of wave-like interference in light? Ooh. Sudden idea, light from one source interferes with itself. Struck while researching the disposition of light and hold on. Shadows fade depending upon the relative position of light of the light source and its obstructions. This is because light is reaching past obstructions. A new sudden idea. So two new ideas now. Brilliant. Examination of plants. Robert Hooke has become an authority. Yee, I want to become an authority in disposition of light. I think one more paper will probably give me an authority there. So this is about 48 points away from completion. And this one is uh, 37 points away from completion. So light from one source interferes with itself. Go ahead and try to prove that theory. And if we can prove it, it ought to be that light from one source interferes with itself. If I could just, just as my theory hypothesized, I should incorporate this fact into my paper, make it publicly known. 18 points, that's pretty good, okay. So one more round of uh, prove it. Proofs, and I should have, should be ready to publish another paper and hopefully become the authority in the field of optics. Then I can go ahead and get a job somewhere, a better job, a real job. This is a student, it's not a real job. Okay, let's go ahead and prove the theory again. This should lock up the deal here. And I think we are fully complete. So it'll be time to publish another paper. I wonder if the strength of the paper depends on like a factor like reasoning or something like that. I know that, or knowledge. I know that um, the greater skill you have in an area helps you to uh, discover the inventions that are going to come along in the different areas. Just check real quick, show you real quick. If you go into the topics, I think it tells you. So these are like discoveries, and these right here are um, inventions. So where was I? Back to the laboratory. All right, my theory is complete. It's time to compose a paper. Compiling findings on light from one source interfering with itself into a paper. Are you sure? Yes, I am. And we are composing. There we go. Looks good. That checks out. A fine paper if I do say so myself. That's good to hear. Time for our second publication. And I think no one else has two publications, right? This guy's got a tremendous amount of skill. Let's see. Oh, who's that? He's the publisher of Robert Hook. Ah! Our rival. Our nemesis. He's got two papers published. Enlarged view of a leaf. And the period of spring oscillates. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our paper number two published. 
Submit the paper. Oh, look at the French Academy of Sciences. It has much more authority. I'll probably get more fame down there if I do that. Let's see what happens if I submit it here. We won't have to deal with the uh, hook, but there are some people down there that don't like me too. All right. While researching the disposition of light, I have researched. I've reached the conclusion that light from one source interferes with itself. French Academy of Sciences receives a paper from Mr. Newton. What is the opinion of the secretary? Light from one source interferes with itself. Hmm, I see. A fascinating paper, is it not? Jean Picard. I concur. That's uh, the president. And a certain credibility about it. Mr. Cassini, Gianna, Giovanni Cassini. I think he gave me money before it. Fine piece. I am in favor. I see no particular point of contention. All right, they will uh, unanimous, unanimously accept the paper. And with the French Academy of Sciences having more authority, I think I should gain more fame. The paper itself is garnering critical acclaim and huge increase in fame there. I wonder if I should just go to France. I was in France in the last one. French Academy of Sciences has rules in favor of proffering research fees for Isaac Newton's research. We ask that you continue to endeavor and redouble your efforts for research. Thank you. And we have a tremendous amount of research. And with that, we can actually buy one of the new items, the next items, which I think is a lens. And that will really further our uh, research. So. Ah. Card has become an authority on the motion of the moon. He must have published another paper. I could publish a uh, third paper. The light reaches past obstructions. I'm not going with light is infinite because I know that's wrong. Let's just see here. One thing I should do is buy the lens and conduct more experiments. But I think I want to change my position. Because right now, I'm a student only making five coins, five dollars per month. And if I change my profession, my fame is at what? 111. And let's check out locations here. What type of jobs are available out there? Oh, let's check out what quarter fame first. So I could travel to like Germany or Italy and study there, but I can actually get a better position in Paris. And this is why I moved to Paris last time, because Paris has a nice line of progression. Actually, I could be a lecturer at Cambridge. However, there's an advantage with Paris, because Paris has an observatory. And we have an observatory, we have the academy, and we have a university there. And we don't have to deal with Robert Hooke in the Royal London Society. So I'm thinking about siding up with Paris like I did in the last one. Let's go ahead and move to Paris. Move to Paris. It's going to require 85 funds. Isaac Newton moves to Paris. I like being in Paris better. Now we're going to need some more money to acquire that uh, lens. But I'm going to go ahead and get a new job down here in Paris. Let's go ahead and change profession. I'm going to go for a University of Paris lecturer, which will give us 10 income per month, as opposed to the five we receive as a student. And there we go.
French Academy of Sciences, according to my research, Mr. Isaacs Newton's paper on uh, light from one source uh, interferes with the other, lacks credibility. Baseless conjurer. Ah, Robert Hooke, again, challenging. What a jerk. I'm sure I could challenge him to a duel and just shoot him, but they didn't do that. I think. <laughs> Maybe I could challenge him to a debate. That would be cool. Correspondence. What is the opinion of the secretary? On what grounds does Hook speak so harshly? That looks good. No such imperfection exists. Criticisms are farcically inaccurate. I cannot agree with this outcome. It's dismaying that the brilliance of this paper is lost upon them. Very well. Uh, criticisms are without merit. And my paper stands. Hook. No friendship with this guy, Robert Hook. Staying out of London. Stay in Paris where more of my allies are. All right. Uh, I'm gonna need about two turns to have enough money to buy the lens. So while I'm waiting, the lens is gonna continue. I kinda wanna dabble in another topic. Let's see if we can go down the arithmetic line. <clears throat> where, I forgot where I did this. Must be on the map. Financial aid, resign, apply. I don't remember where I changed topics. Ah, right here. Select. Let's go into arithmetic. And here we go. And I have a, you know what? I should probably do some reading and studying here probably first. I have good knowledge in math. Let's go ahead and practice some mathematics. I wonder if I could practice drawing. Pi is 3.14. How far would one's search of precise value take them? <laughs> it's funny. Robert Boyle moved to London. All right, I think that's uh, about 20 minutes, so I'm going to put a cut here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.